What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name's Scythe and today I have something very exciting to show you. This is the game breaking cannon right here. Uh, I want to doll this thing up to make it like a big proper explosive cannon, but for right now, just for the sake of this video, I just have a very basic outline of it just to kind of show you all and give you an idea of what you're actually going to be needing in order to craft one of these puppies yourself. Now, we will launch in a minute because otherwise it launches you pretty Pretty much like th this is a game breaker like seriously so what you're essentially trying to do let's get rid of these is the way that you're going to build this is there are actually four jump pads right here so two on this side two on this side and essentially you're going to be jumping on this jump pad right here but I'll explain in detail how it actually works uh, pretty much a stack of four jump pads one space up two or up one Four jump pads all the way till the last. Well, you can kind of just see it yourself. It's a little easier to see it than <laughs> to explain like dimensions and stuff like that. Uh, but you're going to want to make sure that you bump your head right up here on the tip top just before you hit this third jump pad. And the way that you actually launch yourself is by going right up here. You need to be three blocks high. And I kind of have this color coded. This is actually in the Team Pixel 1 Club World. So just type slash join world space Team Pixel. And you can actually come onto Bowser the Sky Whale, which is what we're on right here with the secret hot dog fortress. And you essentially just go up here. And what you're trying to do is you're going to be touching both those corners. You're trying to get right in the top right corner right there so that you're touching both of the yellow blocks that are against the wall. Now, what this essentially is doing is character models in trove like we're we're taking up a bit more space than an actual voxel because we're a 3d character in a voxel environment so what we're essentially doing as we land in that top right corner is we are activating all four of these jump pads at the same time like jumping into this corner as you can see right now we are activating all four of them that's why we're getting so much mad crazy air and well I guess without further ado, that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's just launch ourselves. Uh, another small tip is if you end up activating your boats or if you end up activating your wings, you go 10 times further. So let's actually, let's try and break my own personal record and go as far as we can. Boat just before we land. Boat, boat time. Oh no, we didn't even go that far. Oh shoot. Okay, you know what? That calls for another one. We gotta try that again. We gotta try that at least one more time because the boat or the the way that that is supposed to work is normally it just game breakingly launches you way out of the map maybe it ended up changing because i took away those extra um launch pads at the end there but oh yeah there that's more like it yes here we go we're breaking the game we're off the map oh my goodness i i have my map zoomed out all the way can we escape team pixel can we escape Team Pixel? Yes, we can. We've escaped Team Pixel. Nobody can get us anymore. So, of course, too, the more health that you have, the longer you're going to last over there in the Sea of Regret. You can also activate your wings to go even further, most likely, but I just like using my boat. Now, what I am going to end up doing with this thing is I find it to not only be extremely fun just for a crazy ride, but it's also very practical. So if you have a very big club world, you can use these cannon designs to kind of get around very, very easily. So what I'm going to try and do in the following days as I find a little bit more time to do so is I'm going to tamper with the cannon design, see if I can get it to uh, be a bit more consistent with lower distance so that we can... <laughs> Uh, so that we could have it essentially launching us all around the club so that you don't have to walk around everywhere And then if I can find an even more compact version of it Even if we end up find using this cannon uh, What I want to do is I want to put four of these puppies in my cornerstone going in each of the four directions Because then we could go into an adventure world and well you could piece the get blah 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 See, I, I, like, my brain's all mushy because of the momentum. But <laughs> you can kind of piece together yourself the benefits of having something like this. So hopefully it doesn't end up getting nerfed eventually by the devs. I don't think that it can because, like I said, we are activating the top right corner. Now, I don't know if you necessarily have to hit it from the highest block there. Okay, no, you don't. You can actually just jump onto it yourself. No, we didn't actually get that far. 
Oh, but this is the, okay. So it's a little bit inconsistent, but for the most part, it works. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, there's the can of design, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully you find it helpful in your club world's cornerstones and just all sorts of fun. Now we've got another thing that we can mess with in this game. Believe in yourself.